Chris, how would you describe the energy difference second half yesterday to what you guys did tonight? Uh, yeah, we came out ready um, early, got, got in our sets, executed early, uh, played defense, uh, physical, um, then let them uh, real comfortable, look real comfortable out there or be comfortable out there. Uh, and that's we, how we need to play every night. We've, we've seen your game for a while now. We know you try to play with, you know, attitude and, mm -hmm. and physicality. How would you describe it, um, the energy that you bring, making a bucket and hyping yourself up? Yeah, I, I, as I said, I'm the energizer buddy on the team. Once once I get going, everybody else gets going because um, then they got to worry about me rolling and then Joe hits threes, Kev gets... I mean, Kev's going to do what he do regardless. But, uh, yeah, I just try to bring energy, uh, get easy ones out in transition uh, just to get our offense going. On the other side of the court, I mean, considering the slow starts that you guys had had pretty much every single game, A, how much impetus did you, you know, kind of put on yourself? You're obviously, you know, the primary defender perimeter-wise. I mean, how much emphasis did you put on yourself? And secondly, when you're guarding a guy like Bradley Beal, what are the things that you try to take away, the things that you try to do to him to make him at least work for his points? Uh, I didn't put too much emphasis on it. Um, I think everybody knew once they see me in the starting lineup what I was going to bring out there, what I was going to do. Um, and then Brad, just a, t a tough guard. Um, really, I just had to know what he likes to do. He goes right, usually goes to the basket or the pull back between the legs. If he goes left, step back, usually every time. So I uh, just try to know uh, my personnel.